Hi, I'm Radu Popescu. Today I'm going to talk about application packaging process. Topics covered here are application packaging industry trends, what is application packaging and what is its role, high level objectives and benefits, and last but not least, a practical end to an application packaging process. What is application packaging and why do we need it? Application packaging helps organization in need of a way to take the burden of their IT support team while providing an improved end user experience. If we look over the application packaging benefits, we can find that it ensures a consistent, stable and reliable standard environment. It increases the efficiency of a software management by streaming the software deployment along with any customization needed. It mitigates security issues and decreases the risks for business disruption. It also helps reduce the ongoing administration and support costs. Does application packaging solve all your problems? There are many companies that expect to resolve all the application related issues, including compatibility issues, just by packaging each and every one of them. Although there are some compatibility issues that could be sorted by remediating the application and including the fixes with the packages, this is not possible for the majority of them. Solving compatibility issues relies on containerized packaging solution. Some well-known containerized packaging solution include AppV, which enables application to run in their own container on the client computer, and the new MSIX packaging format, which is based on the same concept of containerization as AppV. This is how the end-to-end -end packaging process looks like. Let's take them one by one. Application discovery. The first step in the process is the application discovery and it consists of the following. Validating the application source file and ensuring that the application is fully functional within the organization environment and that it works as expected. Through this step, all the requirements and details of the application are collected and recorded accordingly. Keep in mind that some applications may require less discovery than others. Also, sometimes vendor support is needed if the application fails to install or work as expected due to any compatibility issues or misconfiguration within the organization environment. Here, there are some questions that helps clarify the discovery step. Is the application used differently by users from different business area? Does each business area require a different sort of configuration? Well, depending on the response, it might be worth having separate packages. One package for the application and separate packages for each business area configuration. Then, each user will get a corresponding configuration package along with the application package. Does your application have any prerequisites? If yes, you might want to take them out of your package and create separate packages for them. The reason is so that you will be able to reuse them in case any other application needs the same prerequisite. Is your package meant to replace any other package? Managing and maintaining a high number of packages could be difficult regardless of the deployment tool you use, so it's a good practice to keep this number down. Before the application goes into packaging and gets imported into the configuration manager, it is important to know whether it's a new package revision of an existing packaged application a new version or even a completely different application. Same as for dependencies, the configuration manager comes with its own supersedence mechanism to handle upgrades, which is quite robust and seamless to use. Application packaging. Application packaging covers the actual package creation based on the requirement and details gathered in the discovery stage. Depending on which packaging format you prefer to use within your organization, there are all sorts of best practices to follow. User acceptance testing. Application UAT is the step of the application packaging process before the packaged application is deployed to production and it consists of validating the package created and making sure that the package application is fully functional and works as expected. Basically, it must behave the same as the vendor source file tested earlier in the discovery stage. Application deployment. Application deployment is the process of installing the package created through a software management tool like MECM. With MECM, you can install your application package, but also uninstall them and create all sorts of queries and reports. Also, depending on your requirements, you can target both devices and users' collection. Here are some best practices for user acceptance testing, deployment and post-deployment. Use virtual machines for UAT. The majority of companies use tools like VMware or Hyper-V to host the virtual test machines used to perform the UAT, mainly because these tools come with a great capability to revert the virtual machine to a previous state within few seconds. Full comprehensive UAT. Some companies may have defined test cases for each application within their environment. Although this is sometimes nice to have, it is not mandatory. 
a full comprehensive test will do as well. If the packaged application is used by multiple business areas in different ways, the test should include each of these business area scenario to make sure there is no issue with the packages created in terms of its functionality. Import into the configuration manager first and then get it UAT. There are companies where the UAT is performed before the application is imported into the configuration manager. These companies usually use utility tools, the most known one being PC Exec, in order to mimic the installation via configuration manager. This is not necessarily wrong, however, there are very few scenarios where a package may be different once imported and deployed through the configuration manager. So if you want to be on the safe side, it is recommended to perform the UAT only after the package is imported and set into the configuration manager. Phased and controlled deployments Although the package was tested and UAT was signed off, there is always a risk for something to go wrong when deploying it out to productive devices. Companies should not take any risks. If they take it, it should be mitigated as much as possible, so a regression plan must be in place in case something goes wrong. Therefore, for a deployment perspective, a phased and controlled deployment approach is something to take into consideration. This can be achieved by manually adding members to the collection or use the phased deployment feature included in the configuration manager. Rework existing package to include a fix if it fails. Keep your applications up to date. Retire, then uninstall, then remove. If a packaged application is not needed anymore, don't just delete it from the configuration manager. In the first instance, you must take care of the existing devices where the application is still installed. So, you must first retire it to ensure that specific packaged application will not be deployed to any new devices. Then, you must uninstall it from all the devices where it has been deployed via the configuration manager. After all those steps have been completed, you can safely remove it from the configuration manager. As a conclusion, the main goal of application packaging is to reduce the administrative and support costs for the companies while standardizing the environment. This can be achieved just by having good quality packaged application that follows application packaging best practice. Each application is different, Therefore, each application must be reviewed and assessed individually. On top of that, each packager must have a clear picture of the end-to-end -end packaging process, starting from the moment of the packaging request and the moment the package is not needed anymore and it must be decommissioned. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and the Advanced Installer blog.